Lula says he suspects pro Bolsonaro staff helped mob enter Presidential Palace, Brazil. Here's a summary of the article. The Brazilian leader Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva has said he suspects hardcore supporters of the former president Jair Bolsonaro among the presidential staff facilitated the entry of insurrectionists who stormed his presidential palace seeking to overthrow Brazil's government. Speaking to a group of political journalists in Brasilia's Planalto Palace, one of three buildings trashed by the pro-Bolsonaro mob last Sunday, Lula vowed to carry out a thorough screening of employees in the wake of the historic attack. I am waiting for the dust to settle. I want to see all of the security tapes that were recorded inside the Supreme Court, Congress and the Planalto Presidential Palace, Lula said on Thursday morning. We are carrying out a thorough screening because the truth is that the palace was full of Bolsonaristas and military officials and we want to try to correct this so we can appoint career civil servants, preferably civilian ones so that this becomes a civilized department. I feel very, very, very angry about what happened, Lula told journalists over breakfast at the palace he previously occupied between 2003 and 2010. I am convinced that the door to the Planalto Palace was open so these people could get in because I didn't see the front door had been broken down. And that means that somebody facilitated their entry here, Lula said. We need to be wary but not afraid, about the prospect of future episodes of violence, Lula said. This post received a score of 5,100, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Update to the situation. During a search warrant on former Bolsonaro's minister Anderson Torres Federal Police found a draft decree for the former president to reverse the election result. Torres' arrest was already ordered by the Supreme Court, but he's hiding in the USA. Being away from the country, however, Torres couldn't destroy the evidence at his home, which makes the case against him even more airtight and closes in Bolsonaro himself edit for source. The largest Brazilian newspapers are just now publishing it. Translations will likely soon be available. I hope a foreign newspaper publishes this so this can be shared on this sub. All of these Bolsonaristas need to be punished. Yes, I was going to share it but couldn't find it in English yet. The first newspaper to publish it was Folha but they haven't published it on the English page. Please share when they do. Sounds familiar. Because it's being architected by the same people. Bannon, Miller, Manafort. What do you mean? Bobert was just giving a tour of the exact spaces to an extremely large group of family and friends. The day before, totally unrelated. Gay suppressor. Fascists need to be purged from government positions from time to time to ensure the proper running of government. The tree of liberty must occasionally be watered with the blood of tyrants. Or in this case the employment contracts of fascists. Yeah. Blood sounds better. Fascists tend not to be particularly original or creative. Fortunately. They were creative enough to start a world war and instigate a genocide that killed 8 million people. By working from the ages old playbook, but on a somewhat larger scale, granted. Bannon and Stone financed. Inferior, outnumbered, weaklings who know they are dying off. It's incredible how predictable fascists are. Copy and paste. Trump and his enablers caused so much damage in our country and over the world. I hope the truth and accountability happen before it's too late to turn things around. Nah it was Antifa agents dressed like Bolsonaro supporters to make him look bad. Make Brazil great again. There are some Bolsonaristas actually claiming that. Jesus. Did they come from that town I saw in an article that has a Confederacy celebration? Americana is the town that was founded by Confederates in the 19th century. It seems like most Bolsonaristas that did the invasion came from the Midwest and the south of the country as well as S. O. Paulo Estate. Those are more conservative estates, the Midwest in particular is huge to agro-business, so filled with people who love to burn down forests to make farms and graze for cattle. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.